And then day five, he's got his grip on top. He's got his tush out, right? Okay, and show me that drill that we did the other day. Arms up. Yep, elbows up. Back to the target. Remember that? That's what we need, right? Now go ahead and hinge your thumbs to make a letter L. Do that again. Arms up, back to the target, hinge your thumbs to make a letter L. Perfect. Do that one more time. Good. The hard part for you is you're going to slide. That's the baseball, right? And pull the arms back. Okay, whenever you're ready. That's all right. Just slow it down a little bit. Good. Now show me the biggest twist with your upper body ever. Okay. Good. Is that weird? Okay, now do that drill. Don't even worry about if you hit it or not. Lift the arms all the way up like this. Up here. And hinge your thumbs too. Back to the target. Twist. Twist. Now on your backswing. On your backswing. There you go. If you can do that with your arms in front of your chest. Hold on. If I can get you to understand the drill, you'll be able to repeat it. Awesome. Good. Tush always stays out. You're never going to stand up. Good. That's all right. That's all right. Big turn. Show me a big turn. Arms stay in front of the chest. That was awesome. And I know, don't worry about the fact that you're not hitting them, okay? As long as you're starting to understand it. This is what I told Riley. I was like, if you just get some more practice time, totally different deal. Okay? There you go. Do that one more. Go ahead and pull that other ball in front of you. Does it make sense, though? It's just your body. For your body, it doesn't make sense. Because how many years of baseball? Only seven. A lot more balls than golf, right? Okay, back to the target, arms in front. That's all right. That's all right. Overall, it's a